Check out Opera GX, please. Positivity is a powerful thing, but in the modern age, it's harder to acquire than ever. There are some methods you can try, like touching some grass, putting your thoughts out on the internet, acting like anyone actually cares. Don't care. Or as YouTuber Dream most famously didn't quote, stop taking normal pills. You're not perfect. Statement so brave, he won seven Oscars, a Nobel Peace Prize, and infinite fast passes onto any ride at Disney World. But now, there's a new competitor of positivity, and his name is Darman. I made a video on his infectious positivity many moons ago, but it wasn't enough. The happiness spread, and now idiots all over the internet won't stop spouting words like wholesome and life-changing. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. We're not just telling stories, we're changing lives. Okay, lol, guy. None of you can be happy. I mean, I literally have the word cynical in my name. Plus, I'm British. I mean, come on, like, uh, our only UK trending channel at the minute is a fat man ordering food. We, we literally have nothing. Are you ready? Here we go. Now, I do want to say before getting into this video, I am so sorry for how horrendous the quality was in the last video. PowerPoint slideshow. I like the fact as well that people only pointed that out by saying it looked about as high quality as a PewDiePie video. What does PewDiePie even do nowadays anyway? Bro, he does TikTok reaction videos and he still gets views. I tried that on my channel tanked. GG. Look at these. I don't care. Now, I want to go on the record and say for this video in particular, I do not hate Darman. In fact, I'm actually defending him in this video. The thing is, I made a video on him about four months ago and, you know, like, at, at the end of the day, the guy just wants to make positive content. I personally don't enjoy them because I'm a heartless Zoomer, but, you know, you give a five-year-old an iPad, maybe it'll teach them some morals. Probably not, but the effort's there. But I will say this, Starman did actually call me out. He made a video responding to me and like a bunch of other commentary channels. Darman actor quits while on set. What happens next is shocking. Hey, you're that kid from those cringy YouTube videos, <laughs> aren't you? Did you see how Cody could blast him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're even more cringe in person. <laughs> they just walked up to me in the street and called me cringe. You imagine that, like Elon Musk or Drake, just like, they got called cringe once, career over, bye bye. To his surprise, <sighs> dead. But Aiden keeps it as raw and as real as possible. I love Darman. He's so wholesome and friendly. You know what? If Darman gave me his bank account details and social security number, I would love that guy so much more. Darman directly called us out, annihilated us with his hard hitting facts, logic, and criticism. You know what? I yield. No more will I speak ill of this beautiful bearded man and his big mansion and all this money that I'm very jealous of. No more. Today, I will be a knight in shining armor for Darman and I will take on the Darman copycats. Do you like Darman? Yes! Do you want more videos like his? Yes! So how about some clones? Yes! Also, if you like me making video on why man bad, please consider subscribing. It's totally free, and I have yet to have a single subscriber from the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Let's change that today, guys. It's free to subscribe. And you know what? You can subscribe whenever you want. Subs unsubs un Only a small percentage of you are subscribed. YouTube funnels every five-year-old that comes on the site onto my channel. Why am I tied you up? You really thought you could get away with what you did. All those lives ruined. I don't understand. What What do you mean? Don't play coy with me. Look at the evidence. Do you see? No. What am I looking at? Take a good, good shit. Look at the RAM usage. Oh my god. You're right. And what did you do to fix it? I, uh, I, I don't want to talk about that. What did you do? I went online and downloaded more RAM online for free. You downloaded a physical item for free. 
And what was that website called? <sighs> Scam.com. Yes. And then your computer got a virus. It did. And you know what that virus did? <sighs> I do not. Look outside. Oh my god. That computer virus broke out and spread. It infected a local water treatment plant, turning all the normal tap water into sparkling water. Few survived. Thankfully, I have a higher income, so my palate was already adjusted to the change. What could I have done to avoid such a tragedy? You could have, I don't know, downloaded Opera GX. Wait, what? What did you say? I said you could have downloaded Opera GX. Wait, I... Are you going to shill another product? Opera GX is a browser made for gamers. You can control how much RAM and CPU it uses, so you never have to lag while gaming and consuming your favorite media ever again. Opera has tons of integrations as well, like Spotify, to listen to some classic beats. Twitter integration, so you can find funny memes to steal. And Discord integration, so you can send the group chat the meme that you just stole from Twitter. Twitch as well, so you can be notified whenever your favorite streamer goes live. It's also available on your mobile. Time to uninstall Flappy Birds to make some space. Opera GX also has GX Corner, keeping you up to date with all the gaming news and giving you tons of customization, including a dark mode. A dark mode? Mm-hmm. No longer will your virgin eyes be blinded by the bright white light. You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it. Yeah, that's not even your bit, by the way. Shut up! I will kill you! Wait a minute. You're... me? I'm you from the timeline where you didn't download free online RAM, you imbecile. Behold, I can levitate, read your thoughts, and can hold my breath for no longer than two seconds. <gasps> All right. Anyways, download product, Opera GX, please. Money. Thank you for watch. Still gotta find a way to get these bindings off. Now, I'm talking about Darman copycats, but I do wanna preface, copying videos is not bad, as long as you put a spin on it. Like, you know, if the rule applied that you couldn't copy other people or like use the same idea if someone beat you to it first, commentary would be dead. But the thing is, with, with these Darman copy videos, they don't add anything new. For example, you know, here's a Darman thumbnail. You've got that bold text on the left with, with a very brave caption. Homeless man gets dog taken away. Spoiled son doesn't want to do chores. Girl hates roommate. Very brave. And then you've got all these copycat channels that do the exact same thing. It's like the exact same formatting with every single video as well. Like, I get it, okay? Like, YouTubers and corporations, we both have one thing in common that we are shit scared of dropping views. So, you know, if someone's juicing by doing something, chances are you're gonna try and copy that. What, why do you think everyone at the start of the video is asking you to subscribe now? Because we see everyone else do it. Give me one brand of YouTuber merch that has not tried to put Japanese text that they got from Google Translate. Everyone copies everyone and that's fine. You know, like for example, car adverts, they're always shown that you're going on this like great adventure. That's right, we'll fuck your wife. Or, you know, alcohol adverts that show everyone having a good time despite UK pubs being a thing. I want to start off with Zvoid Studios. I think they're probably the most popular Darman imitator. Like some of their videos get a million views. Like Darman gets tens ah. of millions. I get that, but still a million views for an imitator channel. That's really good. I think there's. I think their first video was November 2020. Meanwhile, the uh, the Chad Darman been here since around June 2018. God. I want to look at Darman's first ever video before deciding to give up all your goals. What if Michael Jordan decided to stop playing basketball after he got cut from his high school basketball team? Or what if Oprah decided to leave entertainment because she got fired from her job as a reporter? Or what if Elon Musk gave up after he crashed his first rocket? I like that comparison, by the way. Two people who barely got their first job compared to already established multi-millionaire. Very fair, I do respect it. What would Elon do after his rocket failed? He'd probably build another one. I mean that, or he'd, you know, shill Bitcoin on his Twitter. What I have to say right now might be a little cringe. So there's a video that Zvoid put out on their channel. Mind-blowing reason why this girl brings Hammer to work daily. Now I assume because you know, this is a Darman copy, they talk about life experiences, trauma, 
I expected that, you know, she brought the hammer into work for like, you know, an abusive colleague or some kind of trauma from a past partner. It's nothing that deep, man. It is nothing that deep. The thing is, if it was that deep, that would actually be a good video concept. Instead, we have three co-workers and one of them doesn't like noise. Yeah, so anyway... Uh, what? What I was saying is uh, that, I can't uh, hear you. Speak up. I'm not speaking to you. Huh? Jeez, Leia, what's the big deal, no, huh? Don't what? worry, I got this. What's the big deal, Leia? It's just that perfect second-rate Dharman acting. Like, they have no idea how an actual human conversation goes. What would actually happen in workplaces, I file a report on woman, woman then banned for server for 30 minutes. I feel happy. She gets told off by her boss for making a lot of noise, and this makes her bring out a Bluetooth speaker to start playing some beats. And you know what? I respect that World War II fighter pilot Japanese mentality. If I can't be happy, no one will. Like she's not only throwing her job, but everyone else's as well. Okay, we get it. Like, let's just go back to work, okay? Sorry, but no. That ship has sailed like half an hour ago. I'm just having my fun. What about your rent? I get paid monthly, so. <laughs> oh wait, so like, if I got paid monthly to work in an office space. That gives me the ability to spam Blady on my Beats pill all day. Well, you know what, guys? YouTube was fun. I think I've been here long enough. I'll catch you guys later, all right? I got, I got some Beats pills to play. Do you think that maybe we were too loud after all? Not a chance. She's the one that started this war, and we're gonna finish it. Come on, we've been at it for a while now. And it's only getting worse. Let's just talk to her and work this out like normal people. Absolutely not! The moment that she plugged in that speaker was the point of no return. There's no way I'm giving up now. Just a reminder, th these are people that work a 9 to 5. Just letting you all know in, ca in case you didn't get that yet. But they are just scheming each other's downfall. These are like four-year-olds in a sandpit, not people that work a 9 to 5 office job. Like, remember how Darman would give you like th these, these heartbreaking stories, like a homeless man having his dog taken away from him, or, you know, a, a teenager fat shamed at a school. To be fair though, in that video, they, they did just put makeup on an actually skinny girl. But here, in this video that Zvoid have done, it's just the human equivalent of we like to do a little trolling, but for 30-year-olds. Get your hands off Queen Lizzie. I will, as soon as you turn off that music. Why do, why do you carry a hammer to work? Just, just in case, you know. <laughs> Oh, you wanna go? Oh, that, that, that's why she, okay. That, that's why she carries a hammer, guys. I was so stupid. I thought there was a deeper meaning here. See, because I've been watching Darman videos, I, I, I thought it would have been, you know, because of PTSD, trauma. She just wants to bring one in because it's funny. Can we get the laughter track in here, guys? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's funny. It's funny, guys. <coughs> Unironically. The most viewed on oh no, our that's not even the right way to use that word in a sentence, you idiot. Stop. Oh. You wouldn't dare. What's so funny? One thing that brought this whole channel into like the full circle of being a Darman copy, they don't even do the vine thud sound effect properly. Listen to how pathetic that sound was. Like it's nothing. There's this meme I keep being sent on Discord of the rock tilting his head to a bass drop. Just replace it with that, and this Z-Void video would be like, a little bit more bearable. Not watchable, just, just a little bit more bearable. You wouldn't dare. The sixth time this year that you've been involved in some childish, petty office war, you're fired. What? Jim, no, you, please, You can't I fire should... her, no. If you fire her, I, I, I quit too. <laughs> All right. Both of you, pack up and get out of here quick because I have a bowling tournament to win in 30 minutes. Like what? What even is the moral of this story? It's like they copied Darman, forgot about any of the morals and just got the, the poorly written characters in. I mean, for a moral story, everyone here is pretty morally gray. Like, you know, you've even got that guy who looks about 10% like Saul Goodman. Kid found out he can freeze time. What happens next will shock you. Wow. We get a Tommy in it reaction face in the corner, please, for the children. Thank you. Neil, your mother and I are getting a divorce. Shut up! Huh? So basically, this premise is the kid's parents are getting a divorce. And this sends ripples through space time giving him the ability to pause time whenever he wants. This is like the most scuffed Incredibles origin story of all time. <laughs>
heaven. There's also this bit where like the kid's friend comes over who isn't affected and she just says how cool it is. And the kid's dread from his parents being in a coma. It just turns into complete joy. Tiffany, I have superpowers. I always felt it and now it actually happened. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> my parents are frozen. Yeah. I just froze my parents. Uh, kind of cringe. Tee <laughs> okay, red is mad, sis. Are you serious? It's yellow. No, no, no. A. It's always red. I'm voting red. All right. I, I just want to put this out there, right? The kid's saying he's voting red based off absolutely fucking nothing. He is the kid that killed Among Us. What are you gonna do about it? About what? Your parents. Who's gonna sign the school stuff for you? I'll sign it. Who's gonna prepare meals for you? I'll make it. You can't just free zone your problems away. Stop saying those things. I know what I'm doing. You need to face the fact that your parents are getting a divorce. Stop! Like, I get it, the kid's stressed, and this is such a horrible thing to go through for, like, any child, but th there's no way that this isn't, like, a syndrome origin story. It's, uh, he totally forgot about his parents being in a coma, and he just starts playing Among Us. Red is mad, sis. Finally, American Psycho prequel. Listen, if you keep doing this, if you keep freezing people however and whenever you want, you will be alone forever. Can't imagine us saying that without thinking of the forever alone meme. What has the internet done to me? I would just like to be normal, please. Also, look at all that soy inducing Marvel merch. <laughs> Not a single A24 film there. No hidden gems, no lighthouse. Get this kid's for the streets. Anyway, he learns how to control his powers. He unfreezes his parents. They still get divorced, but he's okay with it. And then Uncle Ben probably pulls up in his car and says, with great power comes great responsibility. And we all applaud. We all are. Thank you, Z-Void. Uh, we got one more from Z-Void. This is a favorite. You like this one. The man I married turned out to be an imposter. I, I hate that I smoked at that. What am I, five? Really? German sus face? You're gonna laugh at that, you 12? Also, look how goddamn annoying this watermark is. Uh, th th this is early Z-Void phase before they found their footing. But they added, like, chromatic aberration. And it's constantly moving. Like, it looks so... You know what? We just put something over this, please. Like, some some kind of, like, our own watermark. Just put anything over there, man. I, I, I don't want to have a seizure today. You feeling better? Do I look like I feel better? Seems like you have other priorities to take care of. Well, I'll make you some lemon ginger tea then. Don't. I hate those stuff. Give me something fruity. And a sandwich. But... Lemon and ginger are supposed to help with your cold, and I also made you some chicken soup if you'd like- Did I stutter? You know for the fact he was gonna ask for a beer, exactly like that dad in that funny robot game. Kara! Yes, Todd? Bring me a cold beer! But they couldn't do it because then it wouldn't be family friendly. And that's the Darman rule. No swearing, no drugs, no alcohol. It's just him smoking as well. Like you could just overlay the Joker bathroom music on top of it. Don't do that because then we'll lose all the money on this video. Where are you going? I'm going over John's. I'm sick of being here. But you're not feeling well. Yeah. Being around you makes me feel even worse. I need to be around fun people, not you. Why do you go to grab the comb? Like, you've got like half an inch of hair. Like, what, what, what is there to comb? Also, I love the uh, the Alex Mercer teen angst leather jacket you put on there. Except me. Nothing spells, I hate my wife, more than leather. Also, the villa. Sure is expensive household to maintain. You know, thank God it's just two of us. I can't imagine having a baby. I think it's going to be amazing when we have our first child together. It's too salty. This whole meal is a disaster. That's what this guy's priority is like. Number one thing you want to do when you meet your in-laws is be friendly to them, or at least put on an appearance. Not just roast their daughter and then the salad. Like, I'm at, you know what? I'll give Z-Void this. They didn't do the go make me a sandwich bit. My God, how they did not do that. How that bit of 2012 did not creep into this video. They, they're getting an award for that. Oh my God. Marie! Hey, bring me my sandwich. I want to steal. Actual black pilled human. How did he get married? We got another uh, Darman copycat here. Vid Chronicles. Choosing to feature uh, red instead of the Darman blue. Again, very brave. Very brave. They've got this video here that the title is just. 
Wife had her husband killed for money. Jesus Christ, that is dark. You know, it's almost like we're progressively moving away from like the heavens of Darman into just the pit of Darman copies. And they realize that they can't just copy Darman. They've got to go one step further. We need the kid with the superpower. We need the, the murderous wife. The darkest thing they've had in a Darman video is someone got fat shamed. Also, I'm not gonna bother going through this one. I'll sum it up for you. Basically, the woman goes to a hitman to kill her husband, but the hitman turns out to be an undercover cop. It was just a prank. And she's arrested. The reason why I'm summing this up, it's not even their bit. They took this straight from JCS criminal psychology. You know that video of the kid pretending to be insane that like will not leave your recommended trust, but it will not get out. You watch that five times, it will not get out. JCS did a video on Dahlia DiPolito and she did the exact same thing. I, I say it's not even their bit, like only, you can only commit one unique crime per person. It's like you did murder? No, 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 you're copying me. I did murder as well. Hold up. Rich lady is rude to airline worker. She instantly regrets it. Oh no, guys, we have another Karen. Ah, oh, sound the Karen alarm. They're five months late, guys. If I miss this wedding, it will be your job. Do you hear me? Look, Miss Cortez, the only flight available was in this private airport. Any other airline, you would have been extremely late for the wedding. But it's just deserted. I mean, look at all these old planes. I can't be seen in this. Firstly, what do you mean deserted? Maybe the other planes aren't in the hangar because they took off. They're doing their job. And secondly, who cares about what plane you're arriving? Like, you're arriving in a private plane. Surely less than 1% of everyone on the planet would be able to do that. You know what? I think having a private plane of any capacity is more than enough to show that you are affluent in your wealth. Like, you're making me jealous, man. I'm gonna have to take another raid sponsor at this point. My plane left me. I need help. Why would I help you? And you've been rude to my entire staff. I cannot miss this wedding. Star and Ari Lennox will be there. That does not answer my question. Do you know who I am? They're not even talking like they're in the same universe. Like each sentence is so disconnected from what the last person just said. It's like they filmed their lines, went home for the night, came back the next day, and then the next person says their sentence. Like it, it, it's, it's like they're not even really talking. But like, I know the Oblivion NPC meme, it, it's overdone and it's dead, but there is not a better comparison. Every bit of dialogue they say just runs completely parallel. How is the weather today? I was born in 1982. There were two world wars. I think it might be raining this evening. The precipitation is quite high. I, I lost my right kneecap in a, a grenade explosion. The, 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 the shrapnel, it killed 15 men. Everyone's going to talk about how I missed my best friend's wedding. Look, look. Where are you headed anyway? Moon Bay, Jamaica. Oh, I I'm headed there too. Huh. W we must be going to the same wedding. Well, you know, I can't wait three hours for a plane. What, what I'm saying is that so you can fly with me. It's obviously an American putting on a British accent. Like, you can fly with me, ma'am, but you must pay your telly license. There, there's another positivity channel. God, Jesus Christ, they just come out the woodwork, don't they? Samia Bhavani, Bhavnani, creator of To Catch a Cheetah. Family friendly, subscribe now. I, I like the subscribe now, like it's an order or something, you know, like people say turn, you know, with notifications on and stuff, but he just has subscribe now, just in bold. You know, I said how they keep trying to one up each other. This is the icing on the cake. Bully tries Mortal Kombat <laughs> fatality on nerd. Like, you know, you couldn't have just had like Bully hits kid and then regrets it. Bully tries Spartan laser across the map. Then this happens. No, I was born with this condition. Oh my God. Hey, Wheeler, that condition stop you from brushing your teeth? <laughs> Wheeler, are you killing it, Doug? Also, I just want to say no bully, no matter what age says, you're killing it right in front of the kid that they're bullying. Maybe the kids in Fallout 3 would do that at your birthday party, but that's it. What? Guys, come on. Darman was the foundation. You could only build up from there. You built sideways and then down. How? How did you do it? <sighs> Terry, you shouldn't let those bullies pick on you like that. I'm in a walker. Either way, you need to learn how to defend yourself. Okay? Come with me. I'll teach you. With his mother's permission, Terry follows the janitor that day 
and discovers he is a karate master. The janitor spends months training Terry in different ways of fighting. I'm sorry, but like what? What, what, is, what is going on here? It's like they're trying to one-up Darman by having a superhero origin story. The, the next bit they do here, I'm not even joking, they imply that they cured the kid's paralysis by doing karate. But have you tried any of the stretches that I've taught you to get out of this walker? No, I haven't. It's just been a too hard for me. It's just been a burn it on me. Terry, you are one of my most disciplined students. You have a dragon burning inside of you, waiting to get out. You need to push yourself. Roundhouse kicks. What? Get out the walker. What? Come on. You can't take a kid's zimmer frame. Oh my God. Yeah, kid, you know this karate I taught you with the support of your walker, because you've got an incurable spine condition? Yeah, I'm just gonna take that walker away now. Someone's shown this guy Avatar too many times. Let's go flying around, guys. Let's get serious. Do a Mortal Kombat fatality on Get over here. Look, 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 I want to say, I know it's kid acting, and that means I'm actually, like, roasting an eight-year-old. But look at that punch. That is like a Logan Paul liver punch. It is so flimsy. I want to say for the next bit, right, I didn't add any graphics, any sound effects, nothing. This is 100% what is in this family-friendly, uplifting, subscribe now video. But then... Some would say a miracle happened that day. Why Terry's dragon spirit awoke him. I was hoping you tried that. Now I'm trying to feel my fury. Finish him. I'm not sure what's worse, the, the, the fact that this channel is implying that you can cure physical illness by just trying, or the fact that they've shown a Mortal Kombat character's bones breaking, and they thought that that was okay just because there's no blood. Guys, it, it's only a spine. Look, we got family friendly in the head. We, we're safe. There's another video on this beautiful channel. Father leaves six-year-old in car to die. Let's make a TikTok video, Daddy. Sure, baby. Is he wearing a shirt that says dad joke loading? I mean, you know, have a kid whenever, at whatever age, but this feels a bit off. Oh, that, that's why the, the title, the six-year-old dying, yeah. That's why it feels off. Oh, silly me. Wow, nice moves, Daddy. <laughs> it's so nice to see a father and daughter hanging out together. Oh, uh, she's not my daughter. What? She's not? No, no, it, it's my sister's. I'm just watching her. So nice to see a grown man spending time with his niece. Everything feels off about, yeah, okay, the, the title, I get it. The title, I get it, okay? I do understand, I get it. But why would this woman think off the bat instantly that this guy is like the dad and not maybe, I don't know, the grandfather? Okay, honey, I really need you to stay here, okay? Okay. So, if, you know, if you don't, you're going to be in trouble. But if you do, I'll buy you an ice cream. Okay. So just stay, okay? Okay. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Honey, you may get heat stroke and die, but if you do, you'll get an ice cream, okay? I know it's 120 degrees, hence the last establishing shot beforehand, but that ice cream is really tasty. It's Ben and Jerry's cookie dough. Are you ready for it? I am. Get, get in here. What the, Julie, what the heck are you doing here? Steven, you left our six-year-old daughter in 120 degree weather. What the heck is wrong with you? To cheat on me? No, sweetie, it ain't, it ain't nothing like that. Kelly, what the heck's going on? I love, man, that he's out of options, right? So he then has to ask the girl that he's cheated with what's going on. What, what could she possibly say? that would give you an out in that situation. Also, if you think this bit, this whole concept and video is messed up, man, wait until you hear the narrated outro. Julie and Steven ended up going to marriage counseling. Steven learned that it's important to be honest and dependable. As revenge, Julie slept with the marriage counselor on a few occasions. Steven was forced to thank the marriage counselor for helping fix his marriage. 
Hey, I truly hope you enjoyed that video. Do, does no one see how messed up that is? Like, he cheated on his wife, and then his wife cheated back, and he had to apologize for it. That is not wholesome. That is just literally eye for an eye. Vans Julie slept with the marriage counselor. An eye for an eye, sir. I really think the finishing touch is him asking us personally if we enjoyed the video. Now, I do want to finish this saga on another channel. You know, you've noticed there's a downward trend in quality, each one getting a little bit worse. This one's the bottom of the barrel. Totally Studios. They haven't even bothered to hire out actual sets. They just use a green screen for absolutely everything. I just love, man, how Darman's original message of like positivity or like a warning message, that's all been scrapped now. Like these channels have no idea what they're doing. They just think if they include some kind of like conflict, if it gets resolved, we don't care. Popular girl, shames, nerd, TikTok, dancer. I don't know why you capitalized that. Whatever, let's give it a watch. That was great. <laughs> Wow, you guys are so good at that dance. I know, right? I wonder how many likes this will get. We're gonna get a million likes for sure. More than a million likes. We're pretty and popular. That's all you need. Yeah, what she said. Is, it, is this how women talk? I, I personally have no idea. I'm asking for a friend. If uh, I'm, I'm looking at my analytics right now, apparently 8% of you subscribed a female. Literal sausage fest. I wish I was pretty and popular. It would be so much easier to become TikTok famous. This is the new trending one right now, the eagle dance. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think the worst thing is TikTok expectations are now so low. This dance would be heralded as the second coming of Christ. It's just like Rayman 2 arm charge up, now considered iconic TikTok dance. Right, I think that's all I can stomach for for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I've got some huge, huge projects coming soon. I'm looking at starting a second channel and I've got this big fat two hour long video that I'm working on. That's gonna be out hopefully like, you know, within the next month or so. Thank you for sticking around. Love you all. And shout out to Darman. Oh, I love Darman. Everybody knows they won't stop fighting. That's why you froze them. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation, an accident.